Nagarjuna. Etienne Lamotte. Composed by the Bodhisattva Nagarjuna and translated by the Tripitaka Dharma Karya Kumara Hiva of the Land of Kaucha. Under the Later Sin. Translated from the French by Jalong Makarma Migma Chodron. Chapter 22. The Nature of Morality. First Part. General Morality. Question. Knowing the various marvelous fruits of morality, what is its nature? Answer. The nature of morality is the cessation of sin, wrongdoing and its non-reappearance. The suppression of sins of body and speech whether it be the making of a resolution, a verbal promise or a pledge before a third person, constitutes the nature of morality. I. Abstaining from murder. 1. Required conditions for murder. What is sin? If there is really a living being, if one knows that there is a living being, if one makes the decision to kill it, and if one takes its life, one is committing a physical act consisting of derived matter which is called murder. All the rest such as being put under arrest and flogging that accompany killing are auxiliaries of murder. Moreover, to commit murder, it is necessary to kill another person. To kill oneself is not murder. For they are to be murdered, it is necessary to kill that which one thinks is a living being. If in the dark, one takes a man to be a tree stump and one kills him believing him to be a tree stump, the destruction of this living being is not murder. This is not unreasonable because in order for they are to be murdered, it is necessary to kill in full awareness. Distraction or error exclude guilt. For they are to be murdered, it is necessary that the vital organ of the victim be cut. The bodily action that inflicts only a WOUMD is not murder. A word of command alone and encouragement alone to kill is not murder. The resolve to kill alone is not murder. These are the conditions for there to be murder. Abstaining from this sin is called morality. 2. The vow not to kill. Sometimes a person pledges publicly to observe morality and expresses his resolve aloud. From today on, I will no longer kill living beings. Sometimes, without moving or speaking, he just ratifies his resolution by means of a personal oath. From today on, I will no longer kill living beings. This is called the morality of abstaining from murder. According to some, this abstention from murder is sometimes good, sometimes neutral I. E. Undefined from the moral point of view. 3. Why abstention from murder is sometimes neutral? Question. In the Abhidharma it is said that every moral discipline is good. Why is it said here that it is sometimes neutral? Answer. It is in the Katyayani Putra Abhidharma that it is said that it is always good. But in the other Abhidharmas, it is said that abstention from murder is sometimes good, sometimes neutral. Why? If abstention from murder is always good, the person who abstains from killing would be like a practitioner of the Buddhist path and would never fall into the bad destinies. This is why there can be the case where abstaining from murder is neutral. Being neutral, it does not involve any fruit of retribution and therefore does not lead to rebirth among the gods or men. Question. One does not fall into the hells because the morality of abstention is neutral, but rather because there had been, in addition, the production of an evil mind. Answer. Minus one. Abstention from murder produces an undefined merit because whether there is action or abstention, a merit always results. If one commits a slight error, the resulting demerit will be quite limited and quite definite. Why? Because the demerit is proportional to a determinate fault and not to an indeterminate fault. This is why we know that abstention from murder is sometimes neutral. 2. Moreover, there are people who pledge to observe the precepts and who limit themselves to formulating mentally a personal oath, saying, From today on, I will no longer kill living beings. Such an abstention is sometimes neutral. 4. The realm of abstention from killing. Question. To which realm does abstention from murder belong? Answer. In the Katyayani Putra Abhidharma it is said that all morality of pledge belongs to the desire realm. But the other Abhidharmas say that it belongs to the desire realm or that it belongs to no realm. To speak truthfully, it is of three kinds. It belongs either to the desire realm, or to the form realm, or to the pure realm. The killing of living beings involves the desire realm. Abstention from killing, corresponding to it, is in the desire realm. 
It is only the absence of killing in the form realm or the absence of killing in the pure realm which by pushing it away constitute the true morality of abstention from killing. Moreover, there are people who from birth onwards, without pledging to observe the precepts, have come to abhor killing. Sometimes good, sometimes neutral, this abstention from killing is described as undefined. 5. The Nature of Abstention from Killing This abstention from killing is neither mind and nor mental event nor associated with mind. Sometimes it arises with the mind, sometimes it does not arise with the mind. In the Katyayani Putra Abhidharma, it is said that abstention from killing is a bodily or vocal action, sometimes with derived matter, sometimes without derived matter. Sometimes concomitant with mind, sometimes non-concomitant with mind. It is not the reward of actions carried out in previous existences. It is of two kinds, I, e, practice or intended to be practiced, and realization or intended to be realized. Dot, dot. The moral discipline of ordinary people in the Aryas is a material dharma, sometimes visible, sometimes invisible. Sometimes offering resistance, sometimes non-resistant. It is a dharma that involves retribution and involves fruit. It is a defiled condition dharma which has others beneath it. It is not an associated cause. These are the categories that constitute the morality of abstention from murder. Question. In the Noble Eightfold Path, morality also consists of the banning of the killing of living beings. Why do you speak only of the morality of abstention from murder which involves retribution and defilement? Answer. Here we are speaking only of the discipline of the morality of pledge. We are not speaking of the discipline of pure morality. Moreover, in the other Abhidharmas, it is said that abstention from murder does not always follow mind and is not always a physical or vocal action. Not being concomitant with mental action, sometimes it involves retribution, sometimes it does not involve retribution. Not being associated with mind, sometimes it is impure, sometimes it is pure. These are its distinctive attributes, and it is the same for the other abstentions.